In this lesson, we'll get around to building the basic Ogre application. The first thing that you'll need to do is to install the Ogre SDK for the C++ compiler that you're using. The best place to get one of these SDKs is at the Ogre 3D website. Just go to the download section and to the SDKs folder. And here you'll need to download and install the SDK for the particular C++ solution that you're using. I'll be using .NET 2003 and I've already downloaded the SDK and I'll install it just shortly. If you don't have a C++ compiler, the best thing you can do is to go to this website. It's just msdn.microsoft.com slash vstudio slash express and you can just simply download the Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition which is a free version that you can use to get started in all of the process. So once you've got your compiler set good to go and you've downloaded the particular SDK, uh, you can just go ahead and start to install it, which I'll do right now. I'm going to go ahead and install this. And the installation is a pretty simple process. I'm going to go ahead and change the destination folder and I'm going to put it in the S drive, which is uh, my preferred drive. And that directory is pretty important. You'll need to keep that in mind because you'll be using it uh, just shortly when setting up your project application. Just go in and install it. And you can see the installation is pretty simple. It's a very straightforward process. Uh, there's really not much to it. Once the installation is complete, you can just go ahead and pull up uh, your uh, compiler. I'm going to go ahead and make a new project, so you should do the same. Go to File, New, Project. And we're going to make a new Win32, Win32 project. We'll need to set a location and a name. I've already got the location set to S drive slash uh, Ogre XSI and it's at the same level where I have my Ogre SDK installed so it'll be very easy for me to transfer files back and forth because they're pretty close to each other. Let's give it a name. I'm just going to call this uh, basic app. Something really simple like that. That's the name of my project. And uh, let's go ahead and click OK once you've got all of the new project settings uh, good to go. And then it's going to bring up the application wizard. Click on the application settings here when that comes up. Just set the additional options to empty project and that's the most of what you need to do. Click on finish and now we'll have a project that's just uh, empty. We got some folders in here. Uh, usually what I like to do right off the bat is just add my source file that I'll be using, my main C++ file. If you want to do that, just go to your folder here, right click it, add, and do add new item. So with that, we just need to specify that we want to make a new CPP file or a C++ file. Just select it here in the templates and just give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, basic app as well. Just keep it simple. Click open. So now we have our file here and we can start coding in it. But usually at this point, what you really want to do is to set up the project dependencies. You see, we need to tell the project to start looking in the Ogre SDK folders so that we can use those files to start uh, running the application and things like that. So an easy way of doing this is to just go here, select the uh, basic app pro project, right click it, and then let's just bring up the properties for it. In here we can go in and set up all the necessary dependencies. So let's start doing some of that. The first thing you want to do is to just go to the C++ folder here. We need to set the include directories. So just click on it here. You'll get this button with the ellipse in it. Click on that ellipse button and click on the new folder button. Then you can click on this ellipse button again and you can start to uh, look for that particular folder. It's going to be S drive, Ogre SDK where we installed it. And you can just uh, hit enter. If you hit enter it won't really get you into the directory that you want so you need to tweak that again. So here we have the different folders in the Ogre SDK. We need to point to uh, the include folder. So just open the include and all the necessary files will be in here. Just click open and that's the folder that we're referring to. We can actually use a macro here that uh, does a reference to the Ogre SDK but I'm going to keep things uh, nice and simple now. We'll just make a direct uh, reference to that folder. So that's one in include directory set. Let's click OK. Now we'll need to set up the libraries so let's go to the linker folder and go to its general uh, folder general properties here rather. Let's go to the additional library directories and click on the ellipse button. We'll need to point to the library in the Ogre SDK so click on new folder, click on the, the ellipse button, then just type in your path ogre sdk slash lib and it'll actually autofill some of this for you so that's nice and convenient. So we've got this library set up and that's it. Now one more thing that we need to do is to uh, uh, ask it uh, is to set the uh, additional dependencies in here. 
So just go to the input, and you have additional d dependencies up here. Just click on the ellipse button, and we're going to have to tell it to use uh, that particular library. So just type in ogre main underscore d dot live, and this is basically the debug version of the library. We're just telling it to uh, to look at that and to use it when we're starting uh, when we're getting our application going. Click on OK, and uh, that should be the most of what we need to do. And we can actually now start going in here and coding some of this stuff. Click OK and just uh, save everything. We'll start the coding process in the next lesson.